This is square root, and for this presentation, we're looking at the concept, language, and notation. I would have our bead squares laid out from one to 10 square, and I would invite the students to come to the rug with me, and I would show them the three square, and I would ask them to tell me about it. What do they know about the three square? How many beads are in the three square? And from there, I would state, just as the plant grows up from the root, we're going to look at how our three square grows up from its root. So we're going to count the number of beads on the side or the root. We have one, two, three. So three is our root for this square. And we're looking at how many total beads then there are in this square, and we know that there are nine. So the root of nine is three. When we go back and look at the word root and we think about our Latin words that we've talked about previously in presentations, we can tell the students that root comes from the Latin word radix. A long time ago, when they started writing out the word radix, they started abbreviating it. And so it was abbreviated with a cursive R and a line. And that's how they would abbreviate the word radix, or the root. They would show the root. Over time, it got changed again, and it became something that looks more like a V with a line extending from it. And now in our terminology, we call that the radical sign. As we look back at our squares, we can talk to the students about another word, the radicand. The radicand is what's going to be under the line in our radical sign. It's also going to be the number of beads that are in each square as we're using our squares. So if we go back up and write out a label for our three square, we would draw out our radical sign and we would have our total number of beads, which would be nine. That's our radicand. What this says to us is the square root of nine is going to equal, and we're looking at our root growing up, and that's going to equal three. If we look at the next square, we can have the students write out the radical sign. They can count the number of beads in the square. They should know this is 16. And then I would ask them, what is the root of 16? And they would tell me that the root of 16 is 4. And they would find this by, again, looking at the roots or the side of the square. And then I would just have the students continue all the way down to the 10 square making their labels as they go.